In this episode of Mattressology, we're going to talk about the five things that you need to consider when shopping for a new mattress. Let's go. Okay, so if you're shopping for a new mattress, there are five things that you should consider when looking for one. Gabe, what would you say is number one? First and foremost, it's going to be comfort, right? Comfort, you, I mean, that's, yeah, you got to be comfortable. I probably shouldn't have to say it, but of course, but sometimes I do have to say it. Comfort is king, mm -hmm. you know? So when, when you're looking for a mattress, the most important thing I would say is, of course, you're comfortable. Make sure you're comfortable. I say this because I get people who come in shopping for a mattress mm -hmm. and they think that they should, it just should be good support and they go with what they think they should like, not what their body tells them. But you gotta remember that, you know, at the end of the day, you yeah. worked hard, stressed out with the kids, you go home, you just wanna be comfortable. Like you wanna lay down on the bed and be comfortable. So that's why I say comfort is the most important thing when, at least one of the most important things when shopping for a mattress. Make sure you're comfortable. Should we say anything more about that? No, just think comfortable. Comfortable. Right, yeah. You gotta be, so when you're laying down the mattress, does it feel good? Like when you're testing out mattresses, I like to see when people, get, oh, Yes, this feels good. A lot of times you can see it on their face when they're trying it out. Yes. They're telling themselves one thing and then when they try to get, you know, another mattress, they feel they should go a little bit firmer or something like that and then, or softer, but it's like you see it on their face when they're testing it out. Yes. That's how they respond. I know, I see yeah. people like they're torn between the two beds and they, they feel between a firmer and a softer one and they think that they should go with the firmer one because they think it's better for them. Mm -hmm. But reality is, but the, the medium or the softer one feels more comfortable. Trust what your body tells you. Yeah. Go with the one that feels more comfortable. Number two, what's the second thing that they need to consider when shopping for a mattress? Second one would be, I would say support, right? You want to make sure, you know, there's good support there, right? You're good. Getting, getting good support in the mattress. Of course. Because you got to remember, like you're going to be on this thing six, seven, eight hours a night, night after night. And support is one of those tricky things. Like it's very subjective or between individuals. And you want to make sure that it's giving you, it's conforming to your curves. Like, you know, we have, one of us has a curve to our body, you know, and I'll show you the little, there's a little diagram I'll show, you know, how we all have this little curve to us. And everybody's curve is a little bit different. Some's got bigger curves. Some have bigger curves, yes, but, um, you, you wanted to fill it in. Like what you don't want your mattress to support you is you don't want to be straight where it's not conforming at all. Like if you're on your back, you know, you don't want to be straight as a board because mm -hmm. that means it's not filling the gap, you know, or if your side, you don't want it to just be straight as a board because it's going to put a lot of pressure on the shoulders and the hips. So you want it to conform to you, you know? Yeah. So, and I, I say that and I put this diagram so you can see this diagram here, but, um, the, the if it's too firm, you're gonna be, you're not, it's not gonna conform as well. Or if it's too soft mm -hmm. too, you really don't want it to be in a hammock. Yeah. You don't want to like dip in, especially if you're heavier and you're in a super soft mattress, you're gonna start dipping in around the midsection and the hip area. You don't want that. Soft mattresses could still be very supportive a lot of times it's just like the pressure relief, right? Yeah. Still giving you the support that you need. So you can't just rule out a soft mattress altogether, right? Yes, you definitely don't want to rule out a soft mattress. And you want to you want it to feel going back to your comfort, you want to be mm -hmm. comfortable, but at the same time, you don't want to feel like you're in a hammock. Right, yeah. When when, when people are testing out mattresses, I kind of look and see like does it look like they're hammocky? Is or the is the head area much higher than you know the torso and and they're in this little hammock area, you do not want that. Mm -hmm. So, but you, you know, it's okay to sink in a little bit, you know, you go in and it's okay to, where it is filling in your crevices, your mm -hmm. curves. Vaz. Vaz, I like that too. Yeah. Number three. Uh, the third one, the third one you're gonna wanna look at is longevity. How, like, how long are you gonna have the mattress? And also, how durable is that mattress, right? Yes, that is, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna get this, keep this mattress for only a couple of years, you, yeah. know, you don't need to go all out, you know? If it's only mm -hmm. like a two, three year mattress, you know, you don't gotta, you know, spend crazy amount of money on it. Fine for a kid's college, right? Yeah. College dorm or something. Yeah, but also, you know, but if it's a long-term bed, you wanna make sure you're gonna get something that's gonna last you. Mm -hmm. And what determines like the longevity of the mattress, the yeah. durability. Oh man, it's gonna be the quality of the materials in the mattress. Yes. Right? There's actually two things. The quality of the materials in the mattress and also the way this mattress is constructed. And we probably say this on almost True. every video, less is more. Yeah. If you get a mattress, and if you're testing that mattresses and it's a super thick mattress 
with cheaper materials, then it's probably not going to hold up that long. Yeah. You know, how do we know if it's a cheaper material? Though? That's a that's a tricky part. I mean, not not always a salesman knows, but hey, what is it made of? What kind of foam is it? Yes. You know, I mean, if you're going to go with a more traditional type of mattress, uh, what what's the type of foam that's being used? Yep. Is it a high density foam, high resilient foam, medium density, low density, right? There's different uh, um, densities in the foam as far as the quality of it goes. If you can find that out, like the density of the foam is, is super important. You know, if the salesperson in the store knows the density of the foam, I would go at least two pounds or more, you know, mm -hmm. two pounds or more. And, but a lot of times they don't know the density. Yeah. That's one reason why we use latex. I mean, mm -hmm. latex, it's known for the durability. It, you know, if you're gonna get a latex bed, most likely it's gonna be a very durable mattress. Yeah. You know, but if you if you don't want a latex bed or you, you can't get a latex bed, then make sure it's like a very high density material foam in there. And also there's not a whole lot of different layers in the bed that are gonna break down. You know, so like I said, less is more and then the better quality components in the mattress. The foams are the big one, obviously coils too, like mm -hmm. what kind of coils. And we do have other videos that address those things to kind of help you like determine which ones are, which ones you should go with, which ones are better. So, but knowing the materials are huge when it comes to the longevity and the durability of the mattress. Yep. The fourth thing that you must consider when shopping for a mattress is it's gonna be well if you're a hot sleeper or a cold sleeper you want to know is this mattress gonna keep me hot or am i gonna be really cold in it yeah do you, the temperature you yeah know? yeah like he said do you sleep hot do you sleep cold how do you know if you're sleeping hot you know yeah if you're always just like on one if you wake up kind of sweaty yeah right tossing a turning because you're hot yep at night and that is going to be year round. It might not just be like during the summer months where most people are hot and if they don't have the AC or a fan on them. Yes. But even in the cooler time, they're still kind of a really hot sleeper. Like yep. their body's overheating, right? You typically want to stay away from like a memory foam mattress. Exactly. Right? Stay away, and probably any foam mattress. For yeah, that matter. true. If you're going to get, if you're a hot sleeper, I would definitely stay away from a foam mattress. Yeah. You know, but memory foam, especially even with this cooling gel stuff that, you know, if you've done any mattress shopping, the whole marketing game is cooling, graphite, copper, diamond infused, you know, um, gel. That doesn't work. And only if it's blue. Only if they make the foam blue, then it might work. Yeah, blue, that, that makes sense. But if you're a hot sleeper, stay away from a foam mattress. I wouldn't, so I would not go with a foam mattress. Yeah. So what would you do instead? Latex and particularly latex hybrids. Foam. It would, but would you consider latex in the foam category? It's rubber. Some was a hot sleeper. I start with them showing them the hybrids. Yes. Because of the breathability. Yeah. Now, if they still, if they're coming from like a foam mattress mm -hmm. and like a, a, or a memory foam bed, right? Then, and they feel like, man, maybe the hybrid feels a little, you know, not what they're used to. Mm -hmm. um, then we go to the next thing would be a, a latex bed. Yeah. Right? An all yeah. latex one. Yeah. Because it has the holes, it allows for breathability, but primarily I look at hybrids. Yes. Right? I would lean towards hybrids. Yeah. Latex is not the same as foam. It does mm -hmm. breathe. You know, we have, yeah. there's, we have a cool little machine that um, I think we just shown in one of our videos that it shows latex breathes the airflow mm -hmm. but if you tend to sleep warmer i would lean like gabe said i would lean more towards a hybrid with coils and the reason why is because yeah they're opened up on the inside you got more open space more air in there that can mm -hmm. flow through and also another thing you know is like polyester you yeah know, true like most mattress covers are That's polyester true. Even the batting inside the quilting is polyester. Mm -hmm. That tends not to breathe very well either, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, one reason why we do cotton and wool is because it breathes. Yeah, you know? true. It breathes really well. And not trying to sound like a commercial, but if that is a big issue, then cotton wool breathability is huge on that. So consider the breathability of the mattress. Yeah. Ask, and that goes back to the materials. Asking the salesperson or finding out what's inside the bed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. temperature. Okay, so the fifth thing you must consider when looking for a new mattress is i'll say this if it's with a couple uh motion separation yep you know if you're if you're yeah if you move around in bed and you feel the other person move yeah yeah and i, I get i have so many couples come in they they're the only reason why they're looking for a new bed is the other person moves around too much mm -hmm. and it's waking them up so consider the motion separation of the mattress what would you say are the best things for motion separation? The best thing is going to be, I think foams will, foam will do it better than springs. Yeah. Particularly one that does the best is going to be memory foam. Uh-oh. You know, we, right? Yeah. It, it does. Back to the memory foam. Going back yes, to memory foam. It is, it is the best for that. Yeah. Best for the motion separation. Um, but again, if you want to stay away from memory foam, then latex. Yeah. So right? if you get hot, but you also a sense of sleeper with movement, 
So now you're a little a little predicament. Yeah. So you should get a memory foam. Kind of in a pickle. You're in a, kind of in a pickle, in a quandary. I would say, yeah, definitely the best when motion separation. Pocket of springs are really good. Yeah. Too. Yeah, pocket, pocket springs. Yeah, spring. true. Hybrids with the pocketed coils, not the connected coils, are going to be much better for motion separation. Mm -hmm. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give memory foam a 10 when it comes to motion separation. Yeah. I'll give latex and latex hybrids probably a good strong 8 or 9. So they're still good. Yeah. Especially like if you're on a king size, most mattress stores have queen size which we're testing, you know, so you're going to feel a little bit more. But if, mm -hmm. if you guys are looking for a king size, consider it's going to be better. The motion separation yeah. on a pocketed coil is going to be much better than a queen size. You're going to just notice it better. So, but consider that. I would say, I would definitely stay away from the connected coil. Number six, which kind of, kind of hit it on a, hit a little bit about it earlier. Yeah. But what would you say? Would be to consider the 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 one would be the materials in the mattress, materials, right? Yeah. Is it one? Is it natural, synthetic? I mean, you know, we've already touched about quality yes. of the materials, but natural, synthetic. That is the big. You know, if you're sensitive with chemicals, we do get customers that are really sensitive with any chemicals. They just cannot be exposed to it. I would definitely consider a natural mattress with no polyurethane, with no glues, with no, you know typical fire retardant. So those are the things I would mm -hmm. probably consider if you tend to get, or you're just more concerned about your health and you want something that's gonna sleep cleaner, I would definitely consider going with natural materials versus synthetic materials. Now, some people have probably never even heard of a natural bed yeah. or an organic mattress, you know, but yes, there are such things out there. And again, we'll use wool, we use cotton, we use natural rubber, natural latex. You know, those all are fall into that, but if you're the type that don't care about any of that stuff, that just give me the bed with asbestos and lead and all that, and you, you're good, <laughs> that's, that's then it doesn't, it then get whatever you want. Yeah. You know, but if you're concerned about the more of the natural aspect, natural materials, because you got to remember your face is up against that thing, you know, yeah. night after night, six, seven, eight hours a day, you know, so you might want to consider that. I give would, it a shot. You know, I always, I always just test it out too. If you could go to a store where you're at, yep. try a natural mattress, kind of see, man, actually they are comfortable yeah and you know no, you're not you're not yeah. really giving anything up yeah. you know going with a natural mattress and not like sacrificing anything they're yeah. a little more expensive but it's not like you're giving up longevity or comfort for it. they actually do feel really good and they actually do last a long time i mean the last thing we didn't do is probably cost right, right. we didn't price, really touch cost. price you know the price of the mattress and stuff i don't think i need to tell anybody consider the price of a mattress consider your consider your, your budget, budget right consider your budget yeah. you know now i live that because some people all they do is look at price like I, there's some people that come into the store and all they're looking at is the price tags they're just looking at price tags. I'm like, if you're shopping for price tags, okay, but uh, the price tag doesn't tell you hardly anything. You know? Yeah. Because I'll tell you what, store A, you're gonna find a thousand dollar mattress. Store B, you're gonna find a thousand dollar mattress. Store C, they all they all have thousand dollar mattresses or two thousand dollar mattresses, you know? So what about considering the other things to, to, to look for? Like, does it have support? Are you comfortable? Is it gonna last you a long time? The temperature, now you could consider the price. Does this three thousand dollar mattress have all the features of this two thousand dollar mattress. If this two thousand dollar mattress has all the features you're looking for, then you might save the money and go for it. Yeah. You know? So but yeah. Also don't get a mattress that, that you can't afford too. Yeah, true. I have seen young couples stay within beds. your means, right? Stay within your means. This is Dave Ramsey 101. Just stay within your means. I've, I've had people come in and I, you know, they, they just got married. They, they're not making a lot of money and they try to go with the adjustable base and they just and they're only gonna keep the mattress for a few years. Yeah. Before. And like, you know what? I said, you know what? Maybe this would be better for you. So mm -hmm. just be careful. Don't don't go too crazy if you can't afford it. Yeah. And but on the flip side, if you can't afford it, don't try to go for that don't two ninety nine budget mattress, right? That's gonna last you two years, right? Yeah. A year. Yeah. You can yeah. Does, be wise. Use common yeah. sense. Another thing that you must consider when you're shopping for a new mattress is the guarantees of the mattress. Not just the warranty. The warranty is important, like you know, but the what happens if you don't like the mattress? What can you do if you're not happy with the mattress? So yeah, comfort guarantee is big. You know, people, you know, that you test it on the store and it feels good. You know how it's going to respond, but how is it going to sleep six, seven, eight hours a night, right? Yes. Going back to the most important thing, comfort is very important, but it only gives you a small little piece of the puzzle. Anybody, and I've said this before, anybody can make a mattress feel comfortable, you know, for three months or six months. But what happens after three months and after six months? Because a lot of those comfort guarantees or trial periods where they'll give you like 100 days or 180 days, 
But mm -hmm. what happens after that? Because I, I, I've said this before, I can make a mattress feel comfortable for 180 days, but you want it to feel comfortable for a long time. Yeah. So what kind of guarantee is that place giving you? Yeah, I mean, my, my mattress, we've had it for five years, but still trying to take that pandemic 20 off, you know, and so it grows with your body. Right? So what are you mattress, trying to say? So I'm trying to say, you got mattress grow, yeah, got, 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 got a little head. Body back. changed to yeah. fit. Body, body change, and your body will change over time. You do get older, right? So let's also say three years, five years on the road, you want to change comfort, you can change it, you know, change up your body. Yeah, and you know, there's some companies like, like Sleep Number, they have those air mattresses, you know, where you can control the comfort, that helps. But if you're just not comfortable with the mattress, what kind of what kind of guarantee that they give you, you know? We yeah. do it a little bit differently, you know, and we do have a video that addresses that as well. But, you know, if you're not comfortable with the mattress, we make our mattress, you can open it up, you can change out the layers if you needed to. That's a good for a, it's called a 10 year love your mattress guarantee. That's what the way we do it. Some places will give you 100 days or six months, but other places you're just, SOL. If you don't like it, you're, you're stuck with it. So I would probably stay away from a store that if you can, if you're not happy with the mattress and they don't do anything to make you happy or you can, I'll probably stay away from that. Yeah, there's just you take delivery on it. Sorry, you're SOL. Yeah. Yes. So that is a very important thing that you must consider when shopping for a mattress. In our opinion and yeah i hope this helped you guys i mean i hope this made it a little bit easier for you when shopping for a new mattress hope it didn't make it more confusing yeah if you have any questions or you like uh, our channel please, please uh, subscribe like it leave a comment pablo's always on there give us a ring give us a yeah. call at one of our stores you know if you guys are not in the san diego area i say support your local mattress store if they have a little local mattress factory direct place try them first if they don't have not in your give us a ring mm -hmm. so yeah thank you guys for watching Thanks for watching.